In the meantime, in Rock County, the search is still on for someone who killed a 91 year old Marjorie Sands. Two years ago today, in fact, she was found dead on her bedroom floor. An accident, the coroner said, except it wasn't. Only News 3's Jennifer Hoff has another cold case, Wisconsin. And Marjorie's family says her case may never be solved. Jennifer. Eric, that's because days after her family buried Marjorie, they found something suspicious, so much that authorities exhumed her body. The Rock County coroner never performed an autopsy, and Marjorie's son said had she, it would have been clear Marjorie didn't accidentally fall out of bed and die. The house on West Hart Road looks a lot like it did two years ago, except for that Prius parked there. She said something about, oh, I'm too old for something like that. I said, no, you're not. Kenneth Sands said when his mother lived here, she tooled around town instead in a Mustang. Surprising how many people look over at me, and then they look again. I guess uh, didn't see too many old white haired ladies in a red Mustang. And, uh, that's just the way she was. The 91-year-old Beloit native didn't move from 2236. Rather, her family sold it after Marjorie was murdered there. But it would take officials days to determine that. A mistake Kenneth said cost everyone closure. There were some things that just didn't add up at first, but we figured they know what they're doing. Why? They're the ones that should make the call. The Rock County Coroner's Office ruled Marjorie's death accidental. She'd been found on her bedroom floor. The head injuries consistent with a fall. There was no further investigation of the body or looking for possible injuries or anything like that. And I just felt that the coroner's office mishandled that right from the start. Unfortunately, an autopsy wasn't done right away in this case, and it would have shown that it wasn't as it was originally thought to be. Christensen said it's too expensive to autopsy every Rock County death. Last year, the coroner investigated 783 of them, and at $1,450 a piece, that would cost taxpayers more than a million bucks. Instead, Jennifer Keach said she autopsies 10% of cases based not on a set of rules, rather her experience. The former nurse was elected in 2005 and performs autopsies based on, quote, pertinent information particular to each case. And in Marjorie's case, that information came too late. It's like, uh-oh, this is not uh, probably going to be what we originally had thought it was. Christensen refused to explain the new information that came forward five days after Marjorie's funeral. He said releasing it could jeopardize the case, but it's significant seen in what happened next. You have to have some pretty good reasons why you're gonna dig someone up. In a rare move, the sheriff's office completed an exhumation similar to this one. Then a Dane County's forensic pathologist performed an autopsy that caught inconsistencies in Marjorie's original cause of death. Check Kenneth said his mother had severe internal injuries and her death has since been called a homicide. We do have some physical evidence, but I think had we been able to do a thorough search of the scene, on the day she was found, we probably would have had more. While there have been few leads in two years, Christensen is still hopeful, since some information came in as early as two weeks ago. We want it to, to come to a conclusion. It's just going to take that right piece of information to come forward. As for Marjorie's son, the situation is still unsettling. Oh yeah, you think about it all the time. Kenneth Sand says he wants justice, but until this Wisconsin cold case is closed, He'll work to keep his mother's memory alive. A lot of people don't make it close to their 90s. And when they do, I uh, feel very fortunate that he had them that long. But they shouldn't. It shouldn't end like that. The Rock County coroner refused our on-camera interview request, but said by phone it's tragic the family blames anyone but Marjorie's murderer and said her office did the best it could with what it had. Keach, though, could very well be out of a job come 2015 because the county board and voters have weighed in to appoint a medical examiner instead of a coroner, guys. Wow, such a sad story, though, for her family. Have authorities uh, released a motive yet? Not really. In our, in our conversations with them, um, they wouldn't really give us one but we do know that there weren't any signs of a break-in at her house, really only adding to this mystery. So if you can help crack this case, the family is offering a reward to anyone who might come forward with some information. We appreciate him selling, uh, spending time with us and yes. keep the story in the news. Jennifer, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.
Well, if you have any information that may lead to a break in the case, call the Rock County Sheriff's Office at 608-757-2244.